Justice Binta Nyako of the Federal High Court Abuja has fixed May 20 to rule on the application seeking to transfer the leader of the proscribed indigenous people of Biafra, Ipob Namdi Kano. Justice Nyako adjourned for ruling after listening to argument on the application. Meanwhile, counsel for the defendant, Alo Ejimako, during the proceedings on Wednesday, moved the application to prepare him for trial and revealed that the team is seeking the transfer of the defendant from the DSS detention to house arrest or other similar places of custody or similar law enforcement agencies' custody. He said Kano's continued detention in the custody of the Department of State Services DSS would mitigate the accelerated hearing ordered by the court. We were able to avoid the situation that if it had happened in court today, it would have been a deviation from Section 36 of the Constitution, which guaranteed every Nigerian the right to fair trial. The prosecution was forcing a situation on the court today that trial should continue or should proceed today. But our position was this, which comports with the law, that we have not had any opportunity we have made this very clear. It is not about having access to our client. We do have access, but our access is monitored, hampered to the point that we are unable to discuss with him within this, that zone of confidentiality that is guaranteed between a lawyer and his client and that enhances the defense we shall prepare to properly defend him against charges that carry the death penalty. So our position comports with the law, with section 36 of the decision, that unless fair hearing can be guaranteed, no Nigerian can be subjected to any trial. You can check it out. We are not making it up. The attitude of a very good defense counsel is to cross the bridge when he gets to it. So we are not going to speculate. We are not going to preempt the court. We trust that the court will do the right thing when we come back by 28 May. If it doesn't, then we cross that bridge.